we've managed to get four nights at Savuti now, um, but unfortunately those are at three different campsites, so we'll have to move camp almost every day, which is a bit annoying, but I'm hoping when we get there we can sort something out uh, with the staff, see if we can make that a bit easier. Um, in terms of provisions, we uh, have lots of food, lots, quite a lot of water, 70 liters in the trailer, another 50 liters in the, in the vehicle. Uh, fuel, the main tank is full of diesel, plus we've got another 40 liters on the roof. Um, you can't really get fuel until Maun, as far as I'm aware. So we've got to get all the way through Savuti, then Kwai, and then get all the way to Maun until we, before we can fill up. Uh, water one can get, there are, there are shops that sell water, even in Savuti, I think the little um, Spaza shop there sells drinking water. The water from the taps is not doesn't taste great. Well, so we we're good to go. It's very dry here in Botswana, but apparently Savuti did get some good rain a few weeks ago. So apparently it's looking very beautiful. The route to Savuti from uh, Chobi River it can be a bit tricky and your GPS is likely to send you wrong. So the tar road becomes dirt, you just keep straight. The first split, um, there's signs, I think it's to this uh, Tobolo's, Tobolo's Bush Lodge. And you can go that way, it just loops, that's just a loop that comes back to the main road. And it meets the main road right here at a, a, a four-way junction. And the signs here say Savuti to the left, but it's better to keep straight. The left route goes straight to Goa Gate. The straight route continues on and then meets the, um, the cut line and then you've got to go left again and in to Goa Gate, but it's better to stay on the, the bigger main road, you're much less likely to get stuck. But if you look at the maps up here, you'll see both uh, Google Maps and uh, Garmin with Tracks for Africa is saying we should go left here because that is the, the shorter route. But we are going to go straight down the main road. Let's go. We have reached the cut line. If we were to turn right now, we would end up in Lenyanti. Down that way, we're going left towards Savuti. It's eight kilometers along this road before we turn right towards Goa Gate. I didn't do the greatest job of packing my clothes for this trip. I uh, left all my shorts at home. Luckily, Andy, always has enough extra clothing so he has loaned me a nice pair of shorts for this trip. Um, I also managed to pack a bunch of my children's underwear instead of my own so if I seem a bit tense today it's because my undies are about two sizes too small. So here's the next intersection. We're gonna turn right to go a gate. If we had followed the GPS we would have come straight out of this road. The sign says Chobi Forest Reserve. Here we go. Continue for 29 kilometers. Yeah. Continue not, not far. Wheel drive trail required. Sand. Lying GPS. All right, we are in Savuti. Um, from the gate, it's about 30 kilometers to the campsite. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to test Andy's coffee making skills by getting him to make me a cup while we're driving on a very bumpy road. Got everything in there. Yeah. Hard to see. There we go. It's also testing my driving skills because I have to film Andy making coffee while driving on a very bumpy road. I'll put a little timer on screen so we can see uh, how long it takes Andy to prepare this coffee. Okay, stop. Okay, we will stop for the pouring of the what water of the boiling water. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, hold it. 
tight, hold tight. Double press. You want to get that lid on before I go? Yes. Nice work. I reckon you could have done that while I, while I was driving. So, no problem. Next time. This is the finest coffee you've made yet. I did try my best. Wow. Mm. My, my foot driving skills, my knee driving skills are next level. Drinking the coffee, filming myself, and driving. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's enough. Here is the next split. Uh, it's very badly signposted. The signs say almost nothing can go either way here that goes past the airstrip this is more direct yeah in wet weather when it's been raining this one can get quite muddy rather go that way but I think we can actually take the more direct one this time what do you say Andy do it all right let's go okay we have made it to Savuti campsite uh, we left at 7 30 or 12 30 so that's five five hours the road was actually really good. A um, few soft sections, no mud. Most of the mud has dried up, so no problem at all. Uh, we took it pretty easy, stopped a couple of times. I reckon we were driving for a total of maybe four hours from Muchenje to Savuti. Now we figure out if we have to move campsite every day and pitch the tent and then head out for a game drive. It's looking absolutely beautiful here. It's very green. We've already seen zebras, wildebeest, giraffe, elephant, all just on the way in. Um, we didn't see the lions we were told about, but apparently the Northern Pride is uh, just nearby here with some, some uh, cubs and four big males. So we hopefully will find them this afternoon. Much easier than last time, eh? 